Hi, everyone. Let me introduce you to Mr. Badri Malnur. I met him recently. He has a great, unique platform. Um, again, you know, my philosophy is not to explain everything what he does. He's going to explain what he does. So with that being said, Badri, could you just introduce yourself, how you came about to what you're doing now, how you built your platform, uh, a little bit about you? Sure. Absolutely. Thanks, Raju. I appreciate the opportunity. Uh, so basically, I am somewhat of an entrepreneur. I had a couple of uh, exits in startups. I uh, was managing a large team in a Fortune 500 company before. And uh, I really am an investor in a wide range of asset classes, really. I invest in cryptocurrencies. I'm an angel investor, VC, uh, options, commodities, mutual funds, stocks, et cetera. But real estate has always invested, uh, has always interested me. And uh, so I got together with a couple of friends who had actually started this a little earlier and I joined them in building a real estate investment platform. So what we are trying to do is kind of think of it as the Robin Hood of real estate, where you can build custom real estate portfolios. Gotcha, gotcha, cool, awesome. So with that being said, um, you know, uh, first, um, your two-part question for the second one, right? Sure. First is obviously share, you know, what you got, you know, what, what's the platform you got, a little bit of uh, info on what, what the investor himself will get. And obviously, and the second part is like, who should uh, connect to you? Who can you help? Uh, who are the type of people you can, uh, yeah, that should connect to you and you can help them and uh, would be a great relationship for you? Sounds good, Raju. So our, let me tell you my fundamental philosophy to start with. Mm -hmm. Regardless of real estate or whatever investment class you do, I think you should have a diversified portfolio approach. I mean, um, whatever it is you do. I mean, if you're doing stocks, do you don't put everything in the Tesla, though that's done well for you, I'm sure. Uh, you want to build a portfolio which will have different asset classes some which will zig when the others zag, so they counterbalance each other. Uh -huh. So we are trying to bring a portfolio approach to real estate. Gotcha. It's very hard to do uh, because, I mean, unless you're Bill Gates, then of course you can buy 10 houses in every single state in the country. Not all of us are. So that, that's why we decided to build a platform called Avester, mm -hmm. which what we do is we screen hundreds of deals across the country uh, these are syndication deals. I think your listeners may be familiar with it. Uh, the term syndication deal where you can get a slice of commercial real estate mm -hmm. in multifamily housing, student housing, retail centers. So we take these slices and then subslice them. So our subslices are as little as $2,500, even uh, whereas often syndication deals have a in minimum investment of 100,000. And then based on a particular individual situation, their risk tolerance and their liquidity needs, we build a custom portfolio for them. So mm -hmm. think of us like a salad bar. I mean, uh, where you get, you know, I know you eat spicy food, I think. <laughs> so you want some jalapenos, you want some uh, tomatoes, some lettuce, you get to choose what you want in the salad. It's not a pre-made small, medium, large salad. So we try to bring that approach to real estate investing where we have pre-screened deals and you can say, hey, you know, I want to invest 5,000 in this, 10,000 in this. You cannot do that with any real estate investment trust or fund out there now. It's a one size fits all. I mean, you get one slice of a pie, the pie is already cooked. I hope you like that pie, if not tough luck, right? So that's kind of the approach we bring. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, gotcha. So you're going to share the screen and uh, show the... Yeah, let me let me give you a very quick demo. Sure. I know your uh, uh, listeners are fairly busy people. So let's uh, let's do a quick demo here. I hope you can see my screen here. Yes. So, uh, so think of us like another analogy I would uh, give is think of us like the Robin Hood of real estate. Sure. Uh, or Fidelity or your TD Ameritrade or your favorite uh, stockbroker. Mm -hmm. When you log in, we have spent hundreds of thousands of dollars in this platform and in the legal and technology infrastructure. Mm -hmm. You kind of look at the account balance, the return on the deals. It shows you how, oh, by the way, we also do offer a slices of hard money lending. So that's a very attractive alternative to bank loans. Gotcha. And uh, so this gives you the slide, the uh, breakdown between uh, debt and equity, which are syndication deals where you get ownership slices. Uh, or you can get, this is almost like a vanity map, if you will. 
Uh, it shows you how your portfolio is diversified across multiple asset classes and multiple states. Mm -hmm. And when you scroll down, we will also build a custom liquidity graph, which tells you when you get your money back approximately. Mm -hmm. So, and the last thing I wanted to show you is uh, we obviously have a portfolio details page where you can see uh, information about every single investment. Mm -hmm. For example, this person has invested $1,000 in this Manhattan apartment complex. Uh, it's a debt deal and he's got $100 so far. When you click on it, you get all the information, uh, you're getting 9.5% return, exit date is 2021. So anyway, uh, the point which I wanted to make here is that this is a very transparent platform and uh, you get to see exactly how much money you have made in each deal and you get to pick and choose what deals you want. I mean, that's our value proposition. So. Gotcha. Awesome. But that being said, that means, you know, the two most important people are two people you can help with is one is passive investors who want to really diversify. The oh, dentists, the attorneys, the engineers um, um, of the world who don't have much time to, in, uh, you know, investigate a lot of real estate projects. Yes. Gotcha. And then the other part is the syndicators. Absolutely. Thank you so much for bringing that up. Yeah. So if you are a syndicator or a wannabe syndicator, we can help you in multiple ways. Uh, the first way is you may want to invest as a passive investor. We have several syndicators who want to diversify and invest as a passive investor. Right. The second way we can help is if you want to, us to evaluate your deals, we have a rather sophisticated mathematical model. We look at 40 different variables. And if our deal passes, we'll pre-buy into the deal. As far as you're concerned, we are a single investor, so you don't have to worry about it. Right. And then right. we'll slice it and allocate it to our investors. Gotcha. The third way is if you, the deal doesn't pass for some reason, but if you want to combine some of your smaller investors, you can bring them to our platform and uh, of no, uh, free of charge, but we'll combine it and slice it and allocate it. And the final way is, it's a more complex uh, discussion, which perhaps you should reach out to me offline, is we also offer this platform as a software as a service model. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, yeah, you know, if you want, you have, this makes sense only if you do multiple deals in a year. So if you want to create your own fund and you want to use this platform as a service, please reach out. And the beauty of this platform is even if you invest in 25 separate deals, you'll get a single K-1, which really reduces uh, the tax complexity and has some potential tax benefits too. So. Awesome, awesome, perfect. All right, All right. so uh, fun two questions for me. So the next question is, um, what inspires you to get up and do what you're doing every day? You know, people talk about retiring. I left corporate America almost 12 years back. Uh -huh. To me, retirement is doing what you enjoy, right? Doing nothing is uh, not retirement for me. So I like to read a lot. I'm an avid uh, reader of the Wall Street Journal. I'm a fairly spiritual person. Uh, my day starts off with a pretty intense uh, bout of yoga, pranayama, and meditation. And I'm an active member of Chinmaya Mission. I like to give back to the community. And frankly, I like exploring on the other end of the spectrum, business models. I'm an active angel investor. I've invested in over 30 companies. And so I like to balance spirituality with uh, an active interest in uh, you know, business and business models and strategies and startups and entrepreneurs. So, right. so that's what keeps you going. Mm -hmm. All right, so since you're into spirituality, obviously reading a lot of books, um, so you can't share a lot of things. There's only one thing you can share that really helped you personally or professionally that can help anybody else in their professional or personal life. You know, there are a lot of spiritual books, but uh, the example which I'll give you is not a spiritual book, but uh, I highly recommend a book called Principles by Ray Dalio. Uh, Ray Dalio is one of the world's uh, or the world's largest hedge fund manager. And, but the, this book is not about managing a hedge fund. The, the book is about bringing transparency to your organization and how he built one of the world's largest hedge funds and the life principles he uses. That, that's been quite an inspiration for me. I'm, uh, I have a long ways to go, but uh, at least it's a journey of, uh, it, what, what is the old Chinese proverb? A journey of thousand miles begins with a single step, right? So. <laughs> awesome, thanks Badri, thanks for taking the time. Again, for everybody, who's whoever is seeing on YouTube, um, I'll post it in the about section, his company name and his LinkedIn profile to reach out to him. And, and if you're seeing it on LinkedIn, obviously I'll post the links in, in the posts I tag. So reach out to him. If you're a multifamily syndicator or a passive investor who likes to diversify, not you know, invest in a single deal, 
it's a great platform. Um, you know, I like the, uh, you know, basically their vision and the plan they have. So with that being said, thank you, Badri. Any last words, I guess? Uh, no, thank you, Raju. I really appreciate the opportunity. And I'll just go ahead and take the liberty of sharing my mobile number. I love talking to people. So if anybody wants to reach out to me, I know you'll be pro providing the contact information too. It's 503-860-8374 uh, is my mobile number. And uh, you can also send me an email to badri, B-A-D-R-I, at avesterinc.com, A-B-E-S-T-O-R-I-N-C.com. And our inform website also has a lot of information. Hey, uh, but it was a lot of fun talking to you. Thank you, Raju. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll post all that info on the uh, about section or in LinkedIn. So I'll be posting his email, whatever he he, he wants me to divulge, I guess. <laughs> all right, thanks, Badri. Hey, thanks, Raju.